I think we have to get Anne Burns identity, but the the problem is how? We have her letter here, which I'm guessing we need to somehow pick up and leave. And we also have our own band, which I'm guessing we would need to switch with Anne Burns. Not sure what to do about these gloves though. Not at all. Oh, maybe she's the one in the washroom. This must be the patient from side room two. Don't you mean one? I thought you were in two. God, doesn't she look confused? Oh, she looks a little bit younger than me. Another suicidal patient. Strange. She looks like someone I know. Hi. Are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're not one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... <laughs> I like how Susan tried to get out of it by being like, Oh, I know it. What can I ask you about something now? <laughs> Um, we don't know this though, do we? Yeah, they give you a whole bunch, so you can't just guess. Anne Burton is her, right? Anne Burton. No, that's my name. Yeah. You don't know my mother, you little liar. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Has her mother not visited her in a long time? Everybody here, you know, they're dealing with their own issues. But now I can go in the washroom or uh, the toilet. It looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. Ugh, with your bare hands? I'll take one of these medication pots. Oh, is that what they're called? It's the same as the container you get for ketchup at fast food restaurants, right? <laughs> Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level of cleanliness due to... sudden absence of our cleaning staff, we ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. People have been writing on the mirror? Whoa, I actually have a reflection. That's new. I can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. A large shard of glass is lying on the side. <gasps> Whoa, this is so dangerous. This is the ward for suicidal patients and they just freaking leave this here? If they find it on me, they'll think I'm a complete psycho. But it might be useful too. I'll risk it. Uh, we can put it under the pillow, if anyone suspects anything, right? <laughs> Did I take it? Here it is. It's a very sharp piece of glass from the broken mirror. Can't think of any use for it here. I can break something with it? Break the gloves? I don't know. Cold water, hot water, tap. I'm not sure what this is... Like, how do we... Can I fill a glove up with 
Water. And they're making a distinction between cold and hot too, so I feel like that's gotta matter in some way. <laughs> no, that was stupid. Okay. Now these controls for controlling everything, it's a little bit uh, tough to get used to. It feels kind of dated. Bell. Not pressing it. It's rather filthy. The lid is down. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's because of the, the steam! The steam from the hot water? E-I-L? Whoa, that was a- that's a complete accident, but okay. Oh, they were writing messages on the mirror with their fingers? I thought they were doing it with markers, so that didn't even occur to me that you could do that. Okay. Uh... Do I wanna flush something down? Maybe my band? But I gotta swap that with somebody's, right? I can't just throw it away. I've dying for a wee ever since I woke up. Well, that's realistic. Maybe you wanna flush now? Maybe we'll close it. Um... Huh. Probably don't need the tap anymore, but I wonder if we can... Oh... Yeah, these, uh, these item controls are really tripping me up. Can I look at the mirror again? No, it won't let me. If I ring the bell for assistance, people are gonna come, but they're gonna get mad at me, right? That nurse is so busy. I can't leave, by the way. I'm just waiting. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Uh, let's not piss her off. I'm feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Oh! I only have her year, not the day. I don't want to take any medication right now, if that's okay. Mind your own business. I'm not taking anything. I don't think so, darling. Now, you really don't have to lie. We're only trying to help, you know. Now, let me have a quick look at your name band. Miss Ashworth, I strongly suggest you take this, all right? N no Are you insane? I'm not taking any medication. I'm not ill. Okay, we are prepared for this. Jim, can you come oh. in, please? Hmm. You must be kidding me. Unfortunately, I'm not. I'm going to give you an injection. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Hold it for me, would you? Oh my god. Right in the washroom? You know, I'm treating her like she's my enemy. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. But she actually is a nurse, so I should be okay with taking these medications. Sheila! Am I still in the same washroom here? How come... They left me in the washroom after they gave me the medication? <laughs> Whoa! It's a toilet door. 
Oh, it's the, the medication having an effect on me. Oh my god. I'm too scared to go anywhere. Side room one. This is where I'm staying. Hopefully not much longer. <gasps> Whoa. If I go to bed, will that make me feel better? Should I look around first? Is there something there? Whoa! Narcotic heart. So hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? That's my heart, right? I can't leave. Oh! Uh, I feel like it wouldn't be a good move, but theoretically... Oh my god. Ah! Red liquid is gushing out. Uh, that's... that. Uh, do you want some in the pot? I'll fill it with this drug. Oh my god. What? What is it exactly? And how did I get it? It's all a bit blurry. I can't really remember much. Uh... I've had enough drugs already. Drinking this would probably kill me. You wanna give that to Ann Burton or something? Okay. I think I should go to sleep. I'm not feeling so well. I have no idea what we did with the heart. Oh, Susan! Sleep properly. You're gonna feel worse when you wake up. The drugs have worn off, and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Is that really a bad thing, though? Because, yeah, I felt combative because that nurse was trying to... Like, I felt like she was my enemy, but if you think about it, she she's a nurse. She might be annoyed at you, but she should have your best interests at heart. I have the liquid of whatever, though. Even though we're not in the hallucination anymore? Hmm. Is your mother's name Sheila? If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. What does that imply? We took the drugs and we saw the name on the mirror. When we take the drugs, we sort of enter the same space as Anne Burton when she takes drugs? Or am I thinking too hard about this? Something's wrong with this place. I think it's really nice here. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Wow, we we did it already. Amazingly enough. So I guess in the, the dream world, we saw the weird heart thing. But in the real world, I somehow went and stole some medication. Phew. 
feel like sharing? What's your name? There is nothing to share. Everyone died. Everyone. And my treat, my red stuff, it's not the same. I keep lying to myself. I'm a mean little liar. Always have been. This vein, you see, it goes straight to my heart. That's why it hurts so much. I wish I could, just one more time. But it's all lost now. Everything. I was always happy to settle for a consolation prize, you know? Is she really here because she's willing to be here? I don't feel like she can be the stars yet either. Are you all right? I'm fine. Yes, it's all fine. It's just hard to wait, you know? They said I can have it. You know, yeah? So I wait here. Don't want to miss it. That nurse promised it to me. The one with the red glasses. But I think it's been three hours already. Why are they late? Do you think something happened? Do you think she changed her mind? Because I swear if she did, I will hurt myself again. I swear to God, I will hurt myself again. I'm sure they'll be here in a minute. They're probably just very busy, that's all. Yeah. How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything, because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. Hmm, I do have it, but I don't know... I'm a little bit worried because I don't want to make your condition worse. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> It's funny, but I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. What? I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Your father? Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near and yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Spider? Hmm. I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Poor woman. So everybody here is because they tried to commit suicide. I'm guessing when she says her, she means her mom, right? Is her mom like really religious or something? Saying that her daughter will go to hell because she tried to take her own life? Hmm. I 
I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. Um... You know, earlier... This place, I do think the nurses are trying to help me. I don't think they want me to die or anything. But it's very worrying because they obviously have very lax policies here. We seem to have no trouble accessing medication and shards of glass on our own. Not with any difficulty at all, so... Maybe that's why I feel like I don't really trust them. Hmm. It's a clip-on hospital name band. It says Anne Jennifer Burton. November 15, 1975. Okay, now that we have this... Uh, I don't suppose we can just leave? The nurse knows who I am, though. Cause she gave me the medication and she saw my band earlier. Her memory's not that bad, right? Uh, we need this letter. She won't let me take it. I don't think so. <laughs> tell those security guys to let me through right now. I'll tell them in a minute. I just have to finish my writing first. I'm not kidding. I want you to let me go right now. Could you calm down, please? There's no need to be rude. What? I'm not being... I'll be with you in a second. We're looking after a lot of patients here, not just you. Let me finish this. She's so dismissive. I can't remember what I was going to write. I have to start all over again. Serves you right. <laughs> mm. If we get her to go to the bathroom... Can I take the letter from the desk? Well, first of all, let's try taking the letter again. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential yeah. documents. Yeah. If you are looking for something to read... Thanks. Okay. Maybe it has something to do with the gloves? But can I tell the security guards I'm Ann Burton? Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only ticket out of here. They won't even talk to me. What can we do with the gloves? We have one glove, we have a lot of gloves. Um, is Amber in her room? Oh, I thought she came back in, but I guess she went elsewhere. I'm not sleeping in someone else's bed. <laughs> I wonder if the sinks have anything to do with it here, because these ones, there's no mirror here, but we can still turn them on and off. Hmm. Oh, can we use gloves to get flowers? Because we don't like them, right? We don't want to touch them? No? No. Yeah, I'm not sure what I would do with the flowers anyway, even if I get them. Hmm, we gotta get that lady away from the desk. Currently, the only way I know how to do that is by pressing the bell. If we try pressing the bell, she's gonna come in and she's gonna want to give me drugs again. How do I get her to come here but not want to give me drugs? Actually, since I have Anne Burns' handband now, will she give me a different set of drugs maybe? I don't know. Oh, can we? I wonder if we can like open the toilet and throw some gloves in there. A whole bunch maybe. Aha! If I try to flush. Ah. Now if I call for the lady.
someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Well, you're gonna unclog it? Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty, since the cleaner's called in sick. That seems very unsanitary, since you're the one giving medication and all. But okay, I got my chance. That's it, right? I get the letter. Yes, that's exactly what I need to finally go home. And I go home. Sorry, Mom, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. Oh. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mom. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Susan's very distrustful and combative of other people. Understandable, I guess. We don't really know where her life's been up until now. It's a storage room door. I still have one glove on me for whatever reason. It's a door to some office. Colorful photos. Dime ward. Maternity ward. Exit. Oh my god. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am? Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. No, oh, I forgot. We weren't supposed to succeed. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. What? I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that alright? Not really. I haven't really got much choice, have I? How can I trust the hospital that gives people the wrong medication? 